In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. A God enfold me, a God surround me, a God be in my speaking and in my very thinking, a God be in my life, a God be on my lips, a God be in my soul and in my heart. Circle me, Lord, protect me and keep me, keep danger afar. Circle me, Lord, and give me hope and banish doubt. Circle me, Lord, be my light and keep darkness afar. Circle me, Lord, give me peace within and keep evil without. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 7, verses 21, then 24 to 27. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house. And it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on the, that house and it fell and a great was its fall. Come, Holy Spirit. Fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your word, your teachings, that we truly can be on the rock. In the scripture reading today, the, as you notice when I was talking about the verses, there's a little bit of a gap, but that's the point is there are two important messages here that we really need to focus in on especially during this Advent season when it is the time of preparation to celebrate the birth of Christ in verse 21 it says not everyone who says to me Lord, Lord shall enter the kingdom of heaven but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. That's the important message. Doing the will of the Father in heaven. Obeying God in his rules. Loving God. With all our heart, with all our soul. With all our strength. Obeying his commandments. And then we read on it further. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house and it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. The rock is the teachings of Jesus Christ. This is what we, this is the foundation of our faith, the teachings of Jesus Christ. 
You know when you build a house, you're supposed to have a foundation, a good foundation, to withstand the many battles of life, the storms that we have. And then we read a bit further. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. We hear the teachings of Jesus Christ. We read them in the scriptures. But how many do not obey and follow these they are like, as Jesus said, the foolish one who built his house on the sand and the flood came and washed it away because it was not built on the foundation of the rock of Christ. We must, must build our life, our faith, on the rock. It is the foundation of our faith, the teachings of Jesus Christ. It's an important message for us all to understand. Just because we might cry out and say, Lord, Lord, Jesus said, shall not enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Yes. And also, too, we must repent. Because how many of us have been foolish and built our faith on the sand? We must repent of these sins of turning our back on God. Our faith is weak because it is built on sand. We hear it, but we don't take it in. The teachings of Jesus Christ, we hear them, but do we practice them? Do we embrace them, take them into our hearts? Or does it just go, as I say, in one ear and out the other? An important message to remember. We must build our faith on the rock, the teachings of Jesus Christ. He is our rock. He is the foundation of our faith. Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ above me, Christ beneath me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ around me, Christ within me, Christ to guide me, Christ to guard me, Christ to forgive and heal me, Christ to love me. Glory to God for all things, and may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Amen.